Hi guys, this is about creating the themes that you're supposed to make for your characters. Now I told you that you have to write your own music, which is kind of intimidating some of you. But if you think back to the playing that we did with the piano keyboards back during first quarter, this is pretty much the same thing. The keyboards will be back in the main lab tomorrow. In the meantime, you can use musical typing right in GarageBand. Now as a reminder, here's how you do this. In the GarageBand screen, I'm going to come over here and add a new track, and I'm going to choose a software instrument track and hit create. It'll automatically come up as a grand piano track, but over here in the track information pane, which you get to by clicking on this little letter I, you can change it so that it sounds like anything you want. I'm going to leave it on piano right now. To get to musical typing, come up here to the top of your screen and choose Window Musical Typing. Now I can use my computer keyboard, just like a piano keyboard. Now when you're thinking about your theme, you don't have to be too complicated. A theme can start with just two or three notes. If you wrote down that your theme was going to be perky and fun, you might want to think about having faster notes. If your theme was supposed to be slow and sad, you're going to think about holding your notes out longer. Play around until you find something you like. You might even find the same idea for the same character, and you can make it sound differently if they're happy or sad. Here's one example. This might be a character's happy theme. And then when they're sadder, you might slow it down and change a few notes. When I hear the theme come back, I'll probably still think of that character because it's similar, but I'll recognize that they feel differently. If this sounds too complex for you, think back to the same idea that I started with and choose just two notes. You can do a lot with two notes and make them sound like a melody. Then adding one or two more when you're comfortable will make a big difference. When you're ready to record, come down to the bottom and choose the red circle button to start your recording. If you don't want to hear the metronome, press Command U to shut it off. Hit the play button or the record button to stop your recording. You'll see that it only recorded right when I was playing. If I go down in my track editor, I can see where I played on the piano graph, or I can choose score to see my actual notes. Once you have your recording confidently done, then you can start to add background noises from GarageBand, synthesizers, drum beats, etc. But the most important part of your melody needs to be the part that you wrote yourself. You need one character theme for each, of your, for, for each of your two characters that you developed using the character maps. So that's two original themes that you are in charge of writing yourself. Good luck!